As we enter late summer and early fall, people often encounter sick deer, especially deer hanging out around water sources like creeks and ponds. Um, this is often a symptom of a, a group of viruses called blue tongue, or more specifically, hemorrhagic diseases. And there are several viruses that have very similar symptoms that are hard to distinguish. They affect deer in the late summer and early fall because they're transmitted by biting midges, small flies such as noceums, and these insects reach their highest numbers in late summer. And so typically when a deer becomes infected with these diseases, they'll become lethargic, feverish, uh, they'll urinate a lot, so they'll hang out around water, they will often have swollen tongue or head, um, they might have ulcers that you might be able to see, especially on the tongue, and the animals just they act like they don't feel very well. So if you encounter deer this time of year, you should suspect that it's one of these viruses. While the deer, while the deer often will die from the disease, but not always, um, it's not a risk to humans. It can, these diseases cannot be transmitted to people. They can be transmitted to cattle, although typically cows uh, aren't uh, as at risk, depending on which virus it is. But if you suspect that your livestock may be infected by one of these uh, viruses, you can contact your, your vet for specific information. But while it's not a, a, typically a significant disease in cattle and it's not a risk to humans, it can cause pretty significant reductions in deer populations, sometimes as much as 25% in a local area. And it may take a few years for that deer herd to bounce back. There's really nothing you can do about the disease except report it. So contact the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation if you find uh, dead or dying animals. 